Okay, it's Sunday morning, uh, somewhere in January 2009, here with Mark Edner, and we're at the House of Pies, um, here on uh, Franklin and Vermont. Yeah, and the House of Pies, by the way, this is, uh, uh, let's just call the House of Pies my office. This is where I did a lot of my static interviews. Right. Cops enjoy it. There were a lot of cops that were involved that I'd have them meet here. They really like the pie. And also, if I'm meeting some sort of highfalutin source, it kind of brings them down to uh, a certain level where we can meet as one, as it were. Um, Luke, a lot of people are going to ask me. I have a guy who's doing 10 years, 8 months in prison is my main source for this book. They're going to say that guy can't be the most credible source. Well, the, the story started with him, and it started with Darnell Riley, who's doing 10 years, 8 months in Corcoran State Prison alongside of... Uh, 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 who's, who's he up there with? Sirhan Sirhan and uh, right. Charlie Manson. Um, he uh, started telling me a story. Well, it was my job to put my gum shoes on and hit the streets and seeing how it checked out. So let's have a look at some of the places I went. Okay, uh, awesome. I'm assuming I'm in drive here. Um, if it doesn't go, move it up one. Like the, there. There we go. That would be drive, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, I ran into Paris Hilton. Uh, the night before last. I'm hoping that this bastard will let me go. No, I guess not. That's all right. I ran into Paris Hilton at uh, Carrie Fisher's house uh, up in Coldwater Canyon. It was at a party for Milk, uh, the yeah. movie, where Carrie, uh, Colleen Camp, you might remember her, an actress, uh, kind of a B-movie actress. She was married to John Goldwyn. Yeah. Uh, they co-hosted a... Um, a party celebrating the cast and filmmakers of Milk. Uh, Paris was texting a friend of mine who was at the party, uh, saying, is the party good? I'm on my way, blah, blah, blah. She finally showed up. I ran into her, and she said to my friend, she said, you know, I was thinking of suing Mark Ebner, you uh -huh. know, because she's caught wind of the book right, through right. the viral nature of it and that sort of thing, but... She said, I'm afraid Darnell Riley will kill me, and I just want Darnell Riley out of my life. Uh, so it was a brief encounter. Uh, with you may the, want to turn the indicator on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so anyway, I, I, I'm, I apologize for kind of taking you out of context here, but we're going up to Stevie Wonder's former mommy baby or concubine whatever names melody mccully we're going to go up to her house she has a son named mumtaz and a uh and uh stevie has a uh, another nephew who old owed darnell some money through whatever things they were involved in gambling whatever uh darnell in one of his last acts of retribution staged a fall at Stevie Wonder's ex is house up here and um, attempted to extort Stevie Wonder for a lot of money. While this was going on, uh, while the, the negotiations were going on, Darnell Riley got snatched and was taken into custody. But I thought you'd like to see yes. where Stevie Wonder's exes live and uh, where he's littered babies all over the all over all over town, I guess. How many kids does he have? I don't know. Yeah, I, you know, I'm gonna guess. Yeah. I'm gonna guess. This is uh, only a guess. I'm gonna say he at least has a half dozen kids running around out there, okay. legitimate or otherwise. So is this the vague area of Hollywood where you live, also somewhere near? You know, I prefer not to disclose yeah. where I live. Let's just say that. Uh, that I live out of a, uh, is this Chislehurst? Yes, it is. Let's just say that I live out of a post office box in Santa Monica, California, and my residence is a 1969 VW bus with hand-tinted windows. Well, you wrote in the book, um, the only reason I bring it up is that you wrote in the book that you are living somewhere in this area. Uh, not uh, far, not yeah, far. Good yeah. call, 